hey guys what's up welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to show you how to install the git into your macbook m1 and also upload your project or any files into the github using the git so for that let me just open my favorite browser and search for homebrew so if you haven't installed homebrew just go to this brew.sh and just copy this command and just open your terminal and paste that command so this will install the homebrew so if you want the detailed video for how to install homebrew on your macbook m1 i have already got video for that so you can just check out on the description so once you install the homebrew you just need to type brew hyphen hyphen version and if it shows some version like this then the homebrew or the brew is installed into your system so once the homebrew is installed into your system you just need to type brew install and git and click enter so this will start installing your git into your system so now to check if git is installed or not just type git hyphen hyphen version so you can see the git version so the git has been successfully installed into our system so now to upload the file or any project so let me just open my vs code so if you haven't installed vs code just install the vs code and let me just open that and let me just create one folder so just click on open folder and let me just navigate to the desktop and create one folder let me call it demo project and let me just click on open so inside here i just want to create one file let me call it index.html and inside here let me just create something so just write this is demo for git and github in mac os or you can write anything and let me just save so i just want to add or push this file into the github so for that let me just go into the google chrome and search for github so if you haven't created the github account so you can just click on this sign up and just enter your email address and just click continue so let me just create one password and let me just give the username so you can give any username so for simplicity i will just keep the same name as my email and just press continue click y so once this is done just click click on this create account and just go to your gmail so you can see the code so you just need to copy this code and let me just paste it into here so just paste it here so here it will ask for the team member so let's just click just me and continue so just click on continue so you just need to choose the free one so skip the personalization so here you will be able to see this kind of interface so you just need to create one repository so for that just click on this plus sign and click on new repository so you just need to give the name of the repo and let me just type something like demo project or you can give any repo name so you can provide the description as well and you can keep this public as well as private so if you just check on this private so the repo won't be seen by anyone so if you just click this public so your repository will be seen by everyone so i will just keep this public for this time and just click on this create repository so this will show some of these commands here so you can just follow this command so i will be typing one by one so once you do that you just need to click here to copy this remote repository and just go to this terminal and you just need to navigate to the folder where you have created your project so I have created it in my desktop so i will just go to this cd and just type desktop so here if i just type ls click on ok so you can see the demo project is here so let me just go inside this demo project so just go into the demo project and just type git in it so this will initialize this repository with the git so if i just type git status now so you can see we have this index.html file to add so once i add so just type git add and just type dot so if you type dot it will add all the files available to add or you can just directly type index.html as well to 
add the specific file so just do that and just type git status again so you can see the same file in green text so you can see the file has been added successfully so once you do that you just need to type git remote add origin and just type command v to paste the remote repository which we have just copied from this github so just click enter and once you do that just type git push hyphen u origin and you can just give the name of the branch so i will just write the master or you can write any branch name and click enter so this error is because we forget to commit our file so we just need to commit first so just type git commit hyphen m and just type some message so i can just give something like first commit and once you do that we just need to push again so just type git push hyphen u origin master and you just need to use your username so for putting your username we have just given the username so origin codes demo in while creating the github account and you just need to enter your password as well so while i'm pushing this uh, file into this github so this is showing that the support for password authentication was removed on august 13 2021 so i have already got two videos for fixing for linux and windows so i haven't got the video for mac so for mac what you can do is you just need to go into your github account and down here just go into this setting and inside the setting onto this developer setting down here just click on that and you just need to go into this personal access token and just click on generate new token so once you do that you just need to write one note so let me just write something like personal access token and just check everything so that you won't get any confusion so let me just check everything from here and once you do that just click on this generate token and you just need to copy this token from here so just copy this token and let me just go into this terminal again and again push into this master and just type the username so in my case is urgent codes demo so you just need to write your username which you have used while creating your github account and let me paste that access token and click enter so you can see now it has been successfully pushed so now if i just go to this github account here and click on your profile and go to my demo project inside here so you can see the index.html file has been successfully pushed into our github account so you can see this is the demo for git and github in mac os so this is how you install the git and push your project into the github on macbook m1 thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel